Hey everyone, my name's Andrew, and one spiritual discipline that's been really important in my life is meditation. I know that word meditation can seem really weird, mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people, maybe even a little spooky, but here's the thing. I know a lot of you want to follow Christ more wholeheartedly, but you feel like there's something holding you back. I believe that for a lot of you, that piece that's missing is meditation. Raise your hand if you've ever made a mistake because of wrong information. Maybe you thought someone was being real, but they were just kidding, or someone told you homework was due later than it actually was. It stinks, right? No one likes to be in the wrong just because they had wrong information. And yet so many of us make that mistake every single day. Most of us probably don't even know it. See, when it comes to God, a lot of times we choose to believe what our emotions or our reason tell us about him. You think that God's cool with you, then he's cool with you. You think he's smiting you, then he's smiting you. You think he's ashamed of you. See, the problem is that on their own, our reason and emotion are actually wrong information about who God is. That's exactly why God gave us the Bible. We need something more solid than our wishy-washy feelings to know who he is and what he does. And God's truth is more real than anything that we feel. So what are you choosing to listen to? Your emotions or God's truth? What you think or what he says? See, meditation for me was what was missing to really take hold of what he says and to live differently because of it. About five years ago, I was in a spiritual rut. I knew I was a Christian, I knew my future was secure, but I didn't feel like I was really growing much. And when I talked to my friends, it seemed like they were experiencing some crazy things with God. I wasn't experiencing any of that. In fact, it didn't really feel like God was speaking to me much at all. I figured that something must be wrong with me. And that's when a mentor in my life reached out to me and asked if meditating on God's word was something that I did. I thought he was kind of weird, but I decided to hear him out. And here's how he defined it. He said, meditation is just sitting with the Bible and allowing God to transform you through it. And he shared this verse with me from Joshua 1.8. It says, study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Then you will prosper and succeed in all you do. You see, first God tells Joshua to study this book and that's knowing scripture. And then at the very end, he tells him to obey everything written in it. That's doing, that's living differently. And meditation is the thing that bridges the gap between knowing and doing. Meditation is slowing down and thinking about what God is calling you to do differently in your life. Let me give you two ways to start meditating today. Number one, slow down and ask questions. When you're spending time in the Bible, don't just kind of get through it. Slow yourself down and consider how God is speaking to you. Is he asking you to do something different in your life? Is he telling you something about himself or about you? We don't want to miss how God is speaking to us. And a lot of times it's as simple as stopping and asking questions while we're reading. And number two, internalize it. When you're wrapping up your time in the Bible, pick a verse that really stood out to you that you read. Memorize it, take a picture of it on your phone, text it to someone, share it on social media, set a reminder with it for later in the day. Find some way to come back to it to remind yourself of how God spoke to you and how he's calling you to live differently. Our lives are filled with anxiety, stress, influence, and we need an anchor to come back to to remember how God is speaking and leading us. As I started meditating and listening to God's voice in my life, I found that God was always leading me. And following him wasn't just about saying I was a Christian, it was about knowing the truth about him and choosing to follow him every moment of every day. And so now every morning as I'm in my YouVersion plan and throughout the day, I'm thinking about how God is calling me to live and choosing that way. You see, this meditation thing never happens by accident. But then again, being closer to God never happens by accident either. But I know for many of you, you're gonna start meditating today and you're gonna start seeing God transform your life more and more every single day because of it. So now let's go to our small groups and talk more about this spiritual discipline, meditation.